pink right is finished. The the right dot pink website is done. I'm not adding anything else to it. I might do a couple videos. But you know how you, I mean, I feel like I've written a book. I mean, if you go there and you say, I mean, I have, it's a lot of book content and it's got front to finish phonics. It's got handwriting. I even did a little review on Danelian and you know, you know, that, that Oxford comma guy that the, we inv- we, the rhinoceri Washington and Lincoln, that little artwork thing. I emailed the guy that made that the artist and got permission to put a 500 pixel uh, version of it on my pink right uh, punctuation page at right dot pink. It's not dot com. It's dot pink. Dot pink is a T. No. Well, actually, you know, okay. Little geekery here. D- domains. D- did you know that dot com is a domain? Did you know that? Did you know that Jesse Steele is a domain of dot com? So, so Jesse Steele is a domain of the dot com domain and Pacific Daily Times is a domain of the dot com domain. That's what Pacific Daily Times dot com is. And Jesse Steele dot Pacific Daily Times dot com is not a subdomain. It's actually a domain. Jesse Steele is a domain of the Pacific Daily Times domain, which is a domain of the dot com domain. We call Typically, Jesse Steele would be a subdomain of PacificDailyTimes.com. That's how we humans communicate. That's how we describe the web. But technically, .com is technically called a domain. And Jesse Steele, of course, is a domain of the .com because it's JesseSteele.com. And JesseSteele.PacificDailyTimes.com is a domain. So... Each of those dots in the sequence here are called domains. So when, when we refer to one of them as a subdomain, that's actually uh, not, not quite true. So, I, I don't know, just rain up. So, anyhow, right.pink. So pink is a domain, and right is a domain of the dot pink domain. And I finished it. Well, I, George, don't don't get all up. You want to know how many little things you like to bicker about, George? No, 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 George. These little tiny details can be important because to the people that actually make the world work, you know, the geeks and nerds who know how things work, they can get confused if you say it wrong. So just because you don't understand how to make the world work doesn't mean that the people who do have to stop using the terms that make it work to fit with your ignorance. So, you know, I, I, well, they don't complain about you saying it wrong. So what, what, no, listen, you, 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 forest for the trees, George, here we are talking with you about the need to get our terms straight when everybody else here in the podcast is having to listen to our conversation. <sighs> I'm sorry, folks. George is new. Um, he's been new since the beginning. And some of us never stop being new. I'm so, but I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm just, I'm thrilled and happy and pleased. No, I mean, isn't that cool that, that, that the, well, do, do you remember about a year ago, you'd go search Oxford comma and that one rhinoceri photo would just pop up everywhere. And then they started disappearing. You ever wonder if there were some copyright questions called in? They, there might have been. I mean, that guy's an artist, and he did that, and people are just throwing it around the web. You can go buy his artwork. It's, you know, right.pink punctuation, look at the picture. You can go find it. Um, I, I didn't, all that time, all those posts from that artist, and not once did I see someone actually linking it to his website where he sells it. Now, I'm, I'm for all free stuff. Everything that I do on the web, you're welcome to pass around. But when I do proprietary stuff, I have my high quality photos and, and you can buy those. So I, I, I'm all about respecting individual artists. But, you know, that actually gets to something else that, that I've, I've really been thinking about when it comes to climate change. 
Um, see, I'm, I don't deny the presence of climate change. I think the issue has been fadified and oversimplified. Uh, we have, we don't have global warming. We have global drama, climate drama. The hots are getting two steps hotter and the colds are getting three steps colder and rainfall is getting one step drier and four steps more rainy. Like the, the biggest change in climate isn't even temperature, it's rainfall. That that's and, and just calling it global warming doesn't help. We, we need to, you know, again, it's back to the whole technical thing. We need answers and solutions and we don't need populism. Everyone's all mad about the populism with Trump. Well, what about the populism with Obama? That, that was also a populism. Yes, there's a lot of populism in the country. And the biggest populism issue is this oversimplification of global warming. We have global drama increasing and some things are caused by people, but not this drama. The drama is caused by regular cycles in the sun. And we need to look at the, the, the climate change issue as being caused by the sun. It's drama caused by the sun. And we need to be clean and lean in order to survive. We, we've been dirtying our air and dirtying our water and dirtying our soil. We've been using stuff and throwing disposable. Every, it makes me mad. Doesn't it make you mad? You go to the store, you buy something. There's all this garbage you have to throw away. And you got to pay to have someone come pick it up. It's like, guys, can't you package this thing in a way that, that, that I don't have to make a big mess? We need to be lean and, and clean. It would make the air clean, make our lives clean. We need efficient technology. And so if you really, if really, 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 if you want to solve climate change, we need technology that you don't have to pay royalties on. If you really want to be serious about climate change, you'll call, you, you'll, excuse me, <clears throat> you'll call, 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 you'll call, you, okay, there we go. We'll start in, we'll start calling instead of calling for the government to take away your home and make everybody ride on a bicycle. We'll start calling for patents to become illegal for corporations. Unless it's a corporation owned by one individual, not his family. They're talking one person corporation and it, and that owner was the scientist who invented it. Can't sell the selling any corporation owned by more than one person who's not an inventor buying any, any, for fat matter, buying a patent, buying a technology patent should be absolutely illegal. Technology patents were intended for individual inventors to be able to make a living off of their hard work, not, not to have companies trying or any type of big money, any money pools, stocks, hoarding clean technology and keeping it from people. And, and I, I'm not going to accuse big corporations of doing that. That would be another question. I'm just saying that we need the avenue to say open source, man. If someone discovers a new technology that makes the earth cleaner, everyone should be able to use it. So I'm, I'm all for giving, giving rights and stuff to individual artists, but we have way too much corporate takeover of, of all kinds of things. And that's what we need to be thinking about. That's, that's what we need, if we really, really want to get serious. So anyhow, I've got a comment on promises. I should probably get to the point. Walking your talk isn't easy. Best to just make your walk first, then talk from it. Never make any commitment until you've determined that you can and will do whatever it takes to keep that commitment. But why is it so important to keep every commitment? What promises are most important? Promises that promise the greatest return? The most important promises to keep are whatever the most difficult are to keep. Keeping challenging promises makes us challenging promise keepers. Only God keeps every promise. He reserves the most promising promises for people who keep theirs, especially the small and difficult. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.